How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. How much Bitcoin do you need to retire in 20 years? Everyone always looks at 2030 or 2034, uh, you know, either 10 years from now or at the end of the decade. But a lot of people don't really consider where Bitcoin could be 20 years from now. What if you're 20 years old? What if you're 25 years old and you want to retire in your 40s? What does it look like? How much Bitcoin would you need? Well, today we're going to look through it. We're going to do it a little bit differently than normal. I think this is going to be really fun. And while this isn't a bunch of information that you can go use right now to go and stack more Bitcoin, I think it is important to stay motivated, right? You want to have fun videos like this where you can actually dream and think about what the future holds because sometimes we get stuck in the day to day, you know, Bitcoin goes sideways for a couple months and people get bored, but it's important to think about the long term. So if you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this one as soon as I make them. Also, there's going to be a link to Marjax underneath the video in case you want to trade cryptocurrency using leverage. You can use a link to Marjax. They're also going to be uh, giving you a, a sign up bonus that can be used towards trading fees when you use the link underneath the video. We're also talking about doing a giveaway. So definitely be on the lookout for this underneath the video, you can go sign up, no KYC. And I want to tell you about another project that's kind of interesting to me, uh, but we'll talk about that later in the video. So the, the Bitcoin market has exploded over the last 15 years. I think people see all the time why you'd want to hold Bitcoin. For example, just on Wednesday, there's some news about a $1,000 or $10,000 bill coming out from Argentina. Now, why are they doing this? Why are they making a $10,000 bill? Because their currency is becoming devalued very quickly, 200% a year. Think about that. If you had $100 last year, you have the purchasing power of about $33 this year. So people want to turn somewhere else. And where do they turn? They turn to an asset that's scarce. They turn to an asset that appreciates in value. They turn to an asset that can't be controlled by central banks, which is Bitcoin. So Bitcoin continues to get more and more adopted as time goes on. And some people have looked at this and started to think, okay, this value continues to go up. I mean, just over the last 15 years, for example, the Bitcoin market went from nothing to now a trillion dollar market cap. The price went from a penny, under a penny, to 60 $2,000, $65,000, $70,000, depending on when you're watching this, it's up into the sixty dollars to $70,000 range. So it's gone up 700,000x, 800,000x, uh, 7 million x. Uh, it's just an insane amount of growth that we've seen. And we continue to see it become more and more adopted. We continue to see the issuance go down every single halving, and we see more and more large entities buying. For example, Mr. 100, uh, MicroStrategy, the Bitcoin ETFs, they come in and swallow up a lot of Bitcoin. So people are wondering, okay, what if I want to retire on this asset? And I've done this a variety of ways, a variety of ways before. Oftentimes I'll look at different scenarios, like depending on how you want to retire uh, and depending on the price of Bitcoin. But this is just based on you know a 10 year out model and depending on your price targets. Now, in today's video, I did it a little bit differently. I laid out a base case, a bear case, a bull case. I wanna walk you through that, how this affects the price of Bitcoin. And then also, how many Bitcoin do you need to retire? Maybe you wanna spend $100,000 a year. Maybe you wanna spend $300,000 a year. We're going to be going through different scenarios and it'll show you like depending on the year you want to retire how many bitcoin you'll need depending on how much you're spending and of course i can't predict the future right just because i say bitcoin's base case scenario is four hundred thousand dollars by this year i don't know if that's going to be the case but i laid out three different scenarios that i think track with what a lot of people would expect at least if you're bullish on bitcoin if you think bitcoin's going to go down to zero well then you're never going to retire so you don't even have to watch this video but let's start going through these scenarios here. Let's start with the base case. So in this scenario, we're gonna assume Bitcoin gets just short of $100,000 this year. I know that sounds bullish to some people, right? But remember, we have gone from, what, $28,000 about a year ago, less than a year ago, to now 64,000, 
75,000 uh, earlier, like a couple months ago. So yeah, we're expecting a move up this year, especially just based on what's happened in the past, it would make sense for the price to continue going up. Now, let's extrapolate this out a little bit. Base case, let's say we go up another 75% next year from where we are this year. And we're gonna, we're not gonna account for the cycles where, you know, we go up and then we go down, we go up and then we go down. We're just gonna assume like steady growth. I realize that's not what's happened, but honestly, we could mess with the math and the timelines a lot. So we're just gonna assume that it appreciates pretty consistently. And of course, there are gonna be ups and downs, let me be clear, but we're gonna assume it appreciates by 20% a year up until 2034. Then about 10 years from now, so I guess actually 2035, we're gonna assume instead of 20% appreciation, it goes down to 12%. So about what the S&P 500 does, maybe a little bit better. This is after we hit 1 million in market cap, keep in mind, some people would say this is much too bullish, but the price here at 2030 is $424,000. That's about half of gold's market cap. Like it's still going to be half the size of gold at the end of the decade. A lot of people would say that's actually a bit bearish, but I want to be careful. I want to be careful that we don't let this run away from us. And then we're not expecting, you know, multi-million dollar Bitcoin as a base can case scenario in six years. So we're gonna say, you know, we're just at 424,000 by 2030. And then we continue to appreciate, like I said, 20% a year until about 2035, and then it goes to 12%. The crazy thing is people people don't think about past the end of the decade. The amount of, a, of just capital appreciation or the amount of uh, just investment return continues to grow exponentially. So in one year, you know, Bitcoin might go up $300,000 and that would only be a 12% increase. So by the end of 20 years from now, we're looking at like a $3 million Bitcoin. It's kind of crazy, right? 20 years from now, this is the base case scenario. Again, some people would say it's too bullish. Some people would say it's too bearish. But if you mess with the numbers just slightly, if you mess and say, instead of 20%, we're going to go 19%, and then we're going to go 10%, it changes the values a lot because you're talking about multiplying it 20 times. Now, what about the bear case? We stick at today's price for the rest of the year. Next year, we only go up 25%. And then we're going to say, you only get 15% appreciation. Again, we've seen much more than this in the past, much, much more than this. But we're going to say 15% a year, and then by 2035, we're going to say 12%. So by the end of the, dec uh, the, end of the decade, right, we're only looking at $163,000 Bitcoin. By 20 years from now, we're looking at still about a $887,000 Bitcoin. So it would still be less than the market cap of gold at that point, just because gold would continue to appreciate probably 3 to 5% a year. So we're still assuming you're under a million dollars 20 years from now. Again, we're not saying that it's down to zero, right? I think by 2044, we're either at a million or like really close to it, or we're at zero. It's one or the other. It's not that we're going to be at $50,000 20 years from now. Then let's continue over the bull case scenario, what people want to see. Okay, let's say Bitcoin price doubles this year up to 130 by the end of the year. That's quite bullish, I think. And then we go up another 125% next year. We get just under 300,000. Then we're going to continue to see price appreciation of 25% a year. Now, in this scenario, there is no diminishing returns. We're going to assume 25% a year. This is very bullish, right? But keep in mind that there is a diminishing supply. It's the only really true scarce asset on earth that can't be made more of. There are going to be more and more people that buy it and... You know, when you consider some of the improvements that we could have with AI, with robots, there might just be a lot more productivity and a lot more money sloshing around. So we're going to assume $20 million Bitcoin in this bull, bull case scenario. The question is, though, how much Bitcoin do you need? I want to show every single year, based on these estimates, how much you need based on a $100,000 uh, spending scenario. But first, I do want to talk about Solana. So Solana is a meme coin. So just to be clear, it is a meme coin. It's on Solana. It's in its pre-sale right now. I'm going to leave a link to it underneath the video. They are partners of the channel. I get it if you don't want to invest in it because it has high risk. But if you do want to 
invest in it, if you want to throw some money in it, if you want to risk a little bit, I'll leave a link to this underneath the video. We know that meme coins have done quite well on Solana. So if you want to check it out, you can use the link underneath the video. Of course, this is dangerous because it is a pre-sale and it is a meme coin, but it could do quite well. So let's get back into this. Okay. What if you want to spend a hundred grand, a hundred K a year? And I realize some people might say, well, 20 years from now, that's not going to be a lot of money. It's true, right? It's not going to be a ton because we're going to see inflation, but we have another scenario. So we'll show that scenario in a second where you're spending 300K. But what if you want to spend 100? Well, we're going to assume, we're going to assume that you do a 4% withdrawal rate. So basically, if you have $2.5 million worth of Bitcoin, you can withdraw 100K a year, which would be considered relatively safe if you're doing this with an index fund. So we're going to assume that you can do it for Bitcoin. I realize there are assumptions, but you know, there's there's no perfect way to do this. So in this 2024 scenario, you're going to need a lot of Bitcoin. Why is that? Well, I mean, we're still talking about basically the price or a little bit higher than the price is now. So you're going to need a lot of Bitcoin to retire at 65,000 because you're going to need $2.5 million worth of Bitcoin to spend 100K a year. Now, what if we go down the line a little bit? Let's say 2030, how much Bitcoin would we need? We need about 5.9 Bitcoin if we assume Bitcoin's going to be at $424,000. So still a lot for a lot of people. A lot of people will never get to six Bitcoin. But what if you could get up to one Bitcoin? How long would that take you to retire? Well, based on the base case scenario, in 20 years, more like 18 years, when Bitcoin's around 2.3 or $2.6 million, you'd be able to retire, right? Like right in between these years because you need a $2.5 million Bitcoin on this scenario. Now, I'm not saying that you should go out and get as much Bitcoin as possible and never buy any other asset. I think Bitcoin should be used in a broader portfolio to help amplify returns, mostly because otherwise I think most people would go insane. If they held 100% Bitcoin, even though they probably beat the market, a lot of them would probably sell at the end of the day at bad times because they'd be too emotional. So just to be clear, I'm not telling you to go and spend all your retirement money on buying a Bitcoin, although you probably outperform the market. But let's move on. So as you can see, if we had a scenario where you had half a Bitcoin and we were in this very bullish scenario, you might be able to retire around 2037 because half a Bitcoin at a $5 million Bitcoin would get you to retirement. So yeah, that would do quite well, right? You you do quite well if we were in this bullish scenario and I think everyone would be quite happy. Now, it gets kind of crazy if you think $20 million Bitcoin, I only need $2.5 million, you might be able to retire on 0.12 Bitcoin. And I'm not saying that that's the case, but I'm saying in the most bullish scenario in 20 years, yeah, you might not need a full Bitcoin to retire. But keep in mind, at this point, there will be a lot of people that have a lot of money in Bitcoin. I mean, we're talking about like a, if I'm doing my math right, right off the top of my head, we're talking about like a 300x from here. Okay, 300x, that means that Bitcoin alone is worth $400 trillion, which is four times the S&P, uh, five times or four times the total US stock market. So in this scenario, everything's probably hyperinflated. So you'll probably need more than 100k a year to retire. In comes the $300,000 scenario. What if you want to retire and you want to retire spending 300K a year. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Let's see where this takes us. So in this scenario, we're gonna assume the same prices, right? We're gonna assume the same prices of Bitcoin in each of these scenarios, but now we need to spend three times as much. So we're gonna need three times as much Bitcoin. In this base case scenario, 20 years from now, Bitcoin's at $3 million, you need about 2.56 Bitcoin. The reason for that is you need about $7.5 million worth of Bitcoin to retire spending 300K a year if we're doing that 4% rule. Bull case scenario, 0.37. Okay, a third of a Bitcoin basically. Bear case, we're only assuming Bitcoin's getting to 890K. You need about 8.45. Now you can mess with these numbers too. Let's say you think Bitcoin's gonna hit $10 million. 
you need about three quarters of a Bitcoin. So there are different ways to play with this. There are different ways to massage the numbers however you want. Let me know if you like this though. Let me know if you want me to do more scenarios like this in the future where we go through like 20 years out, where are these assets gonna be? Just playing with one little number can change everything. Now, again, this is not trying to tell you that, hey, if you get up to 0.12 Bitcoin, you can retire. No, that's not what this video is, but it's supposed to give you some, some numbers that you can look at. You know, some goals to hit. Maybe you want to retire in 10 years and you think Bitcoin's gonna hit about gold's market cap. Okay, you wanna spend 100K a year? then you need 3.4 Bitcoin, something like that. I hope that's how you take it. Let me know your thoughts though underneath the video. Again, you can check out Marjax, you can check out Cialana as well. And if you wanna trade just spot crypto, or if you just wanna buy spot crypto, you can check out the link to CoinW as well. Right now, Marjax doesn't allow spot trading, but CoinW does. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I will